hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take so we came back with the eight another based and highly customizable custom rom for the nothing phone one called as spark os i was using the nothing OS android 13 based stable 1.5.2 we have already created in-depth preview of this update with the battery results you can watch that video from the icard but the spark os is highly optimized custom rom with the lots of features it supports lots of devices and now it's officially available for the Nothing Phone 1 with the monthly frequency of updates. On official website of Spark OS, who gets all the required files and written instruction how to flash this update. But you can also download all the required files from the links given under the video description. Download them and place them on the desktop or inside the platform tools of your PC. Your PC must be ready with all the latest platform tools driver installed. Your device must be unlocked with the USB debugging enabled in the setting. Now power up the phone, long press the volume down plus power button and boot it into the fast boot mode. Now go to the folder where you placed all the files, press shift key of keyboard plus right click of mouse. On the desktop, select the open PowerShell window from the drop down menu. Now in the CMD type fast boot flash boot and drag the boot file in the CMD and hit enter. Then type command fastboot flash fender underscore boot and drag the fender boot file in a CMD. Now hit enter once done, take phone in your hand. Using the volume key select recovery option and then press power button. Phone will boot to this recovery screen of Spark OS. Now keep the phone connected to the PC. In the recovery tap apply update then select apply update from the ADB. In the same CMD window type ADB side load and drag the full ROM zip file in a CMD. Then tap enter. Now we'll see the flashing starts in a CMD with the 1, 2, 3 percentage so on. At last you will see 1x4 notification in a CMD. Now remove the cable of your phone then tap back arrow key in the recovery. On the home screen of recovery tap factory set then tap format data. Once done tap reboot to the system. So flashing is done. Phone started to boot into the OS. Today in this video we'll thoroughly test this build. We will check what's working performance and stability test with the comparison with the other custom ROMs. I reviewed all the unique features and finally, I discussed the major issues with my final verdict. So watch the video till the end. Now without further ado, let's get started. On a new adventure. Phone booted with this amazing boot animation of Spark OS. After a long time, I am watching such beautiful boot animation. As you did the clean flash, I completed all the initial setup. Phone booted with the Spark OS launcher. ROM didn't have the pixel launcher. It has the default wallpaper of the Spark OS. Now let's jump to the about phone to check the details of this new ROM. In the about phone, you can see currently running wallpaper on the top of the screen. Spark OS version is 13.5. Release type is official. Maintainer of this ROM is Druage. Android version is 13 with the same Adobe Crocodile history. Security patch is of 5th February 2023. Kernel version is 5.4.231 Project Extended Kernel. It is builded with the latest Clang 2 Chain 14. As this is the initial build, I tested all the basic requirements. So watch it carefully. I did each and every important checks which can be useful for you to use this ROM or wait for more time. Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspot is working, NFC and the GPS locations are working good, Bluetooth is working with all the HD audio codecs, I tested audio in the video and the music playbacks and they are working fine, auto brightness is also working fine, 5G, 4G networks are working good, VOLT incoming and outgoing calls are working without any issues, even call recording feature is available and you will find the recorded calls under the call log section. Glee flight setting available under the main settings of the phone, but it has very less features like the Glee brightness control slider. Single type of notification blink light is available that you can check on the screen. It is the same for the incoming calls and for all the notifications. Charging meter indicator is also working fine. Face unlock and fingerprint unlock are working good and both are blazing fast and accurate. Unlimited photo backup is working in the Google Photo application. Let's check out the camera now. ROM comes with the Lineage OS Griffin camera along with the Nothing OS camera application. Nothing OS camera has some features are working but most of the things are buggy. 
that box we will check under the box section of the video so watch the video till the end in the nothing os camera we get all the original features of nothing os like 720 180p 60fps recording with the hdr boards 50 megapixel ultra hd photo mode is working portrait mode has some bugs that we will check under the bug section time lapse panorama mode macro mode export modes are working all the wide angle camera modes are also working other feature has bugs i tried the gcam mgc build that has the working night side mode photo with the hdr plus mode portrait modes video recording has similar bugs like the nothing camera that we will discuss later panorama and photo sphere mode both are working wait for the end of this video to check the bugs related to the camera section that's the most important part of this video as an accepting it check is passing so we can use all the banking and security related application in this custom rom storage of this rom is encrypted so no worry about the personal data if your pin locker device got stolen or misplaced all the sensors like the accelerometer light proximity magnetometer compass gyroscope all are working fine other important features like the light sensor ear proximity microphone ear speaker these are calling related things are working absolutely fine there is no issue of mic in the calls now which was present in the all the other custom roms so finally fix has been started for the spark os for the calling related issues flashlight for the camera screen multi touch display all are working fine so these are all the important features we discussed here. now let's check out the unique customizations available in this rom there is dedicated fireworks option is available in the main setting of the phone which has lots of different customization options like the theme status bar lock screen gestures power menu etc let's check out the major customizations only under the themes and the monet themes who gets the different pre-installed themes i especially like the clear theme which gives home screen wallpaper as a background of system another feature called as the main menu layout which gives the complete overall of look of the device settings panel some of them you can check on the screen there are different toggles available to add the headers in the menu and sub menu you can hide the quick setting panel labels background transparency of panel which gives the complete different look to the quick setting panel who gets the lots of different qs panel style these are also way to give the funky look to your qs panel there are different toggles available to enable some more information under the qs panel bottom data usage is one of that giving complete details of data usage qs panel animation option gives lots of different animation options for the tiles which looks cool who gets the different volume panel styles like the realme user interface and the rise style under the lock screen who gets the different lock screen customizations who can able to change the lock screen clock color with the fonts i personally liked this road rage font which looks amazing on the lock screen and on the always on display who also gets some always on display customizations we can add a text with the animation on the always on display but it looks okay there is a setting for the add custom image on the always on display but it's not working under the gestures tab all the gestures are well organized together here we get all the back tab gestures to access the different activities like the screenshot digital assistant recent etc we get the toggle to enable the android p animation style if you don't like the android 13 animations under the miscellaneous option we get the spark system manager here we get the performance and the battery improvement setting spark system boots helps to improve the performance that you check while doing the performance test later spark aggressive ideal mode will helps to increase the battery by disabling the wifi bluetooth mobile data etc in the emergency situations you can set the personal preferences here for these different activities force expanded notification is another old feature of custom rom is added here sensor block per package setting helps to limit the sensor access for the different applications we can customize this setting which ultimately helps to increase the battery another battery saving feature called as the smart pixel available which helps to save battery in the emergency situation 
under the power menu guys the different power menu pop up animations except this long list of customizations who gets the different features under the home screen setting of the spark launcher like double tap to sleep on the home screen who gets the advance at a glance theme icon for the app drawer but it seems not working under the recents who gets the memory information recents panel opacity changer different recents tabs like the screenshot lens lock recents applications and the clear all buttons under the miscellaneous setting hide and the protect user applications and system application is available taskbar is available which has all the amazing features and they are working very good now without wasting a time let's run the geekbench test to check the numerical results here i got a score of 805 for the single core and 2534 for the multi core this scores we got using the spark system boost but these scores are not at highest level but they are good instead of that paranoid android pixel plus ui has better results about 2700 for the multi core to confirm the spark system boost I disabled it under the spark setting and then ran the test again. This time I got the score of 597 and 2146 for the single and multi core respectively. So spark system boost really working. It's not just a placebo setting available in the ROM. It really makes the performance improvement in the device. I kept this setting disabled and then ran the Hulkan graphics API test and I got the score of 2682, which is also good score. After that I enabled the spark system boost and then ran the Vulcan graphics test one more time now I got the score of 2563 so it seems that the spark boost only helps to improve the cpu performance it not works for the gpu overall rom is buttery smooth everything is gliding on the fingertips but still I felt some lag here and there that we will discuss in the bug section of the video so stay tuned Next I tested CPU stability at the high CPU load using the CPU throttle application. I ran the test for the 20 threads for the 5 minutes at initial stage graph went well without any yellow or the red lines but after 2 and 1/2 minutes graph went down with the whole yellow and the red lines. When I stopped the test after 5 minutes I got the score of 71% which is very bad result. Device become hot after this test. temperature was risen above 55 degrees celsius but still i didn't felt heavy drop in the performance while using the device in such situation still spark developer has to look into this issue so we seen all the different aspects of the rom now let's check out the bugs or the issues first is the wide wine is on l3 so we can't stream the netflix or the amazon prime at the full hd resolution this issue is actually present in all the custom rom but it's not a big deal Next issue I already told while testing the performance that I felt some lag here and there I especially felt device is not waking immediately after pressing the power button or double tapping on the lock screen there is slight delay found here let's check out the camera bugs that I told during the camera review though the camera has the 4K 180p video recording option with the HDR modes camera is not able to take the video recording it's immediately getting close as soon as you tap on the shutter button Even the slow motion video recording is not working. Camcorder backlight is also not working. No glyph flashlight is available. Even I tried to use the Google Gcam MGC build to overcome these problems, but these issues are persisting there also. Developer needs to check all these major camera bugs and please solve them as early as possible. ROM didn't comes with the battery share which is only available in the Pixel UI ROM till the date. except this bug some minor customization bugs may found but they are not deal breaking instead of major camera issues i feel this rom has the high potential to be top contender in the race of highly customizable great performing and stable rom for the nothing phone one so i definitely recommend you to give at least one try to check this rom that is for today guys if you think this video help you then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye